what's up mates? Welcome to another video. Today I'm building the Dragon Junker 88 G6 Nut Jagger in 1 to 48 scale. I lost the first clips of footage painting the cockpit, so sorry for that. The interior was painted with Tamiya German Grey, followed with black for the detail painting and light grey for the highlights and dry brushing. To accentuate the details, I apply a wash over the recessed pieces and corners, which will be removed with turpentine or white spirits to give an impression of artificial shadows. Out of the box, the cockpit has great detail. As you can see, the whole cockpit is a sub assembly, which I'm not really a fan of. For the fuselage, I created my own supports to align the two halves due to the lack of location pins. This makes the process of aligning and gluing the pieces together unnecessarily complicated and it's very easy to make mistakes on this step. I used Bondo Red Glazing Putty, used for automotive bodywork. This one is used in the final stages to fill superficial scratches left from previous sanding. Works very similar to Tamiya Grey Putty and even dilutes with enamel thinner.
To mask the canopy, I place the masking tape right over the plastic. Mark the edges with a toothpick and with a sharp new blade, I carefully cut the borders in an angle to avoid any unwanted scratches over the clear piece. Okay, this was the most tricky part. Sometimes I think I'm a masochist. Anyway, for the scribbles that go all over the fuselage, I'm using Vallejo model paint. 
I'm holding my breath to follow a steady line while building opacity. I got dizzy doing this. I hope my doctor doesn't watch this video.
If you want to see how I painted and weather the exhaust, please check the tutorial on the top right corner. I almost forgot to add the antenna. Wait, 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 bring it back. You see this? This was a huge mistake. I used CA accelerator in spray. The product makes wonders and doesn't damage the paint, but I cannot say the same with the clear plastic. Please, if you use this product, mask the transparencies before using the spray. In the end, I managed to somewhat save the model, but it wasn't an easy task. Well, as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, slap the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, see you later.